OG Cali Blue, Cadillac Chronicles, back with another one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a rundown on some shit that happened to me, which is the reason why I got my foot on this nigga neck. And I'm going to have my foot on any nigga neck that's like him if I find out some info like this. And I feel like this before I get into my little story. This nigga did this shit three times. Three times, right? So my, my mentality is this. If you put that nigga in a room with nine other niggas, you hear me? Nine other niggas, including Miko. Miko is three times more likely to commit this crime than the other nine niggas if a minor was in the room. Put it like that. And that's how I look at it. All right? So, my story We used to live in a big ass apartment complex and it had two sides. It had one side, then you had Martin Luther King Boulevard and then you had the other side, right? Huge ass apartment complex. And what we used to do used to be like 10 of us. You know what I'm saying? And we run through all the vacant apartments cause they was always open. So we run through the vacant apartments you know what I'm saying? Playing hide and go seek and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So this one particular day, there was a 16-year-old girl. She didn't come out and play with us all the time. You understand what I'm saying? She came out maybe, you know what I'm saying, twice three times a month. She didn't come out all the time. But she was very strong, very athletic. You know what I'm saying? She used to run niggas down and slang niggas around and all type of shit. You know what I mean? Now, mind you, at this age, I'm 12 years old. My dick gets hard uncontrollably. I don't know why it's doing this shit. I don't understand why it's doing this shit. My pops was just murdered when I was 11 years old. I didn't have no, I didn't know him, to be honest. You know, um, so I didn't have like no father figure, no dude to go to and be like, man, what is going on? I was too embarrassed to go to my mom and be like, why does he keep doing this? You know what I mean? I couldn't do that, right? So... I mean, the shit would get hard in class. Like, man, it was just, it was, it was, it was, it was messed up, man. It was real fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And my mama always dressed us in basketball shorts. So once that motherfucker go, it's hard to hide. You know, I'm trying to hide, turn my back, this and that, this and that. And I think she knew about that. I think she knew about that. So one day we're sitting outside this vacant apartment. We're trying to figure out if we're going to go to the other side. So I said, well, I'm going to go in here and use the bathroom. I'll be right back. So I go in there. And these is one-bedroom apartments with this particular one. And um, the bathroom is in the bedroom. You feel me? So I go in the bedroom. I go in the bathroom. I close the door. I take my little leak or whatever. I come back out. And she's standing in the doorway of the room and the living room. She like, what you doing? I'm using the bathroom. So I try to go around and she pushed me back. We ain't going nowhere. I'm like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So I try to go around and again, she pushed me back. You ain't going nowhere. So I try to go around again. This time she pushed me real hard. Boom. I fell on the floor on my back. She got on top of me. Put her hand in my chest, held me down, got on top of me, 
And, like, she always wore these long-ass, like, skirts, like, that went down to her ankles all the time. Never shorts or pants, just them skirts every time we see them. So she get on top of me, and she's grinding me. And I'm like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get her off me and shit, and, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, get off me, get off me, get off me. You know what I mean? I can't get her off me because she's strong as fuck. I'm a little skinny ass nigga. You know what I mean? Trying to get her off me, trying to get her off me. I can't get her off me. My dick gets hard. She feels the shit. She's like, yeah, that's what I thought. I knew it. So she's still grinding me and shit. And I'm like trying to get her off me and shit, trying to get her off me and shit. And finally she holds me down. She raises up. She just rips my fucking shorts down. Grab my shit. Sat down on her. Went to work doing her shit. And I'm like shocked. Like what the fuck are you doing like in my mind? Like what the hell is going on here? I don't know what the hell is going on. My mama never told me about sex. My mama never told me about rape. My mama never told me about, you know, somebody touch you. She never did that shit. My mama had three boys. She never did that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know. I'm just an innocent, skinny ass, 12 year old nigga. You know what I'm saying? So she doing her shit and I'm shocked. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Trying to get her off me. You know what I'm saying? Finally, she got her little whatever. You know what I mean? She stopped. She raises up. Boom, she raises up off me. And I sit up and shit. And I'm like looking at her and shit. And she just gave me this like fucked up laugh. And said, don't you tell nobody. Because I know where to find you. And I'm like, the hell? So then she just fell out the apartment, brain, boom. Should I get up? Put my fucking short, and it's like all this shit is on me. This white shit, and I don't know what the hell it is. And it's like, ew, what the, what the, what is this? You know what I'm saying? It's just nasty. And I'm like, in shock. What the hell happened? So I go home. I run me a bath and I get in the bath water. My mama knew something was up. And she always had to make a nigga take a bath. You know, you 12 year old nigga, she gotta make you take a bath. You know what I'm saying? So she coming in, she's like, What's wrong with you? Why are you taking a bath? So I lied to her and tell her, you know, I pissed a little bit on myself. You know what I mean? I was trying to get to the bathroom. I didn't get there, you know, in time. So she's like, All right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I stayed in the house three days. My mama couldn't keep me in the fucking house. You know what I'm saying? She had to send my brothers to come find me. Nigga, I stayed in the house three days. Nigga, like, I was just embarrassed. I was shocked. I didn't know what the hell happened. I just know it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? It was very traumatizing. Like, I couldn't think of shit else. Like, that shit ran through my mind like a fucking broken record. Like, over and over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? That's why I know the pain, nigga. I know, you know what I'm saying? The, the lack of understanding, nigga. I know when you, feel, when you feel violated, nigga. I know. You understand what I'm saying? I know. So, for all you chomo supporting ass niggas, this is why... You understand? They got niggas like me on his motherfucking head. You don't do nobody like that, bro. Especially a motherfucking child. You don't do nobody like that. You understand what I'm saying? I'm on every nigga ass that's involved with this shit. Cadillac Chronicles signing out. One.